imagine yeah. there's like two empires that produce these amazing movies in Austin. One is Detour Film, we just heard from Catherine. The other is Troublemaker Studios. Let's hear from the co-owner, Elizabeth Avion. Hey. Congratulations hey. on the premiere of Switch Up. Elizabeth was the producer of this movie that was turned out so good. Oh, thank you, thank you. No, it's always fun to come and have a movie at South by when this is, you know, I've been here since 1986. So I'm not a newbie. I've been here a long time. So I was a kid, and Robert and I met in 1988 and began our journey since then. And, uh, you know, a lot of things have happened here in Austin. At the same time, Richard Linklater was making me movies and, you know, building what he was building, and we all came together to really create a bigger... We decided to stay here. That was our decision. Very clear, both of us. Why? Why, do you, why did you decide, like, we, we, we're not going to go to Hollywood. We're going to put our heels down and stay in Texas. Like, that's a scary thing. Well, because he did Slacker, and he didn't need Hollywood. We did a mariachi. We didn't need Hollywood. So what are we going to go get over there? I mean, seriously. That, that can't be made with a meeting. I mean, you can just... I would just fly over there in the morning and fly back, you know? And we also knew, because we were all... Uh, from here, and uh, I'm from Venezuela originally, but I lived and I moved here as a kid, and uh, and I just wanted to build something here. There was already a crew that was uh, not a huge deep crew, but a crew that had been built by people like Bill Whitliff and uh, Bill Scott, with all those Willie Nelson, you know, Redheaded Stranger movies and movies of the week. So it wasn't foreign to us that there was already something we could build on. And uh, so it was a very concerted effort. And then we wanted to be parents and build our families. Richard bought land in Bastrop. We bought land in Spicewood. You know, that kind of a thing, because we knew we would never have that kind of a life in Hollywood, in L.A. And it would be really hard and, and just always at the mercy of you can't get out of the talking of the business in a place like that. And if that's what you need, great. But that's not what we needed, and we felt that it was going to be better for us here. When people come from Hollywood, I say, the first question can't be, what do you do? We d Nobody acts like that yeah. in Texas. The yeah. first question here is what? <laughs> what are your hobbies? Yeah, what are you, or, or how are you doing? Where are you from? Or, you know, what are your hobbies? Or, you know, just in general. Let's see if we have circle of friends that are in common. Why are you here, you know, in this uh, party or in this uh, environment? And uh, so, yeah. And it, but it's uh, what I also love about the, the Austin and the Central Texas can-do attitude to me is that the generosity, you even in the, in, at UT, the students help each other with each other's films. You know, they, there's a generous spirit, spirit that is not like somebody's taking something away from me. And that's what we loved about here because we even saw it with, saw it with Richard Linklater and ourselves. It was like, we were always, hey, I'll do this and you do that. Please be a board member. I was one, I was the, uh, the first group of board members at the Austin Film Society because at that point he didn't know that he needed to have board meetings. <laughs> so Chalanafas, Charles Ramirez Berg, Chip Bray from the bank where they banked, um, Rick Triple, who was our lawyer, we all had the same mutual lawyer, and myself, and I can't remember who else. There were maybe like seven members. But, you know, that's the kind of thing, and it, it was always extremely collaborative. For those that don't know, and they're telling me at time, but I really want to plug Austin Film Society as a resource and opportunity. Can you tell us what that is for people that aren't familiar? Absolutely. Well, the Austin Film Society is uh, has grown into where we have our AFS Cinema, where we do incredibly, incredibly wonderful programming that uh, where we educate. Then the Austin Film Society also has programs for people that want to learn how to work in the business. Uh, Austin Public offers creative workshops and they teach how to edit in there. And uh, that used to be the Austin Access Channel. It's actually where Robert Rodriguez edited El Mariachi in that place back in 1991 <laughs> and uh, for free. So it continues to be in our care through the Austin Film Society and encouraging filmmakers and just teaching people how to be part of a crew. Even if you're 50 years old and say, I want to work in the film business, we train you. And uh, from even etiquette on the set to what not to wear to set, uh, what to wear to set, and, and how to understand what each job is to see where you fit in. So it's a wonderful, besides doing so many things, we give Texas, we've been giving uh, grants for, uh, gosh, about 20 years now, and uh, we've given over $2 million in grants to Texas filmmakers and films about Texas, and that's incredible. And we have seen young people build up from getting a small grant for a short 
all the way to becoming Jeff Nichols, and that's a true story. <laughs> and uh, and when he got a five hundred dollar grant, I mean, he he said it with tears in his eyes because it was the only way that he could get himself to to festivals was that five hundred dollar small grant when he was a young filmmaker. And uh, so it's an incredible organization. I entreat you to belong to it, be a part of it. And uh, I love the whole everything they do is is wonderful. Thank you for everything you do and the community you've created, Elizabeth. Thank you. Well, I love it here, and welcome. Thank you for coming. And go home and do it there. Don't think, I'm going to move to Austin. Do it there. You know? I told Sterling Harjo that many years ago. He Apparently, he quoted me yesterday. It was Elizabeth Avellan that told me to go back home and do it there. And he did. And he did. So there's a way to do that, guys. <laughs> Thank you.